Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avi Lash, and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, we got to see some good moves on gold yesterday. Gold made a high of 2046, 2047 and we can see that gold struggle as expected gold struggle around a resistance and gold came down. So we can clearly see that overall there is uh, not much crazy volatility in the market. Market is mostly behaving uh, just like we expected it to behave before the Christmas. And overall if we consider the trend of the market there should not be any doubt that gold is bullish. But the problem is that to continue the upside gold needs to break 2050 and before christmas okay i don't think so gold will have that kind of huge volume okay to break the level here because 2050 is not a simple resistance it's a psychological level as a result gold needs to break this level with volume so gold breaks 2050 okay let's assume that by the u.s session gold breaks 2050 then yes you need to be careful because there may be a false breakout as well because whenever there is less volume in the market there is always a, a possibility of a false breakout for a breakout volume is extremely important without volume there cannot be a breakout so as a result if you see that goal is going up with small small candles then try to avoid that kind of a buy position but in case you see that goal is standing at 2050 with a big green candle then okay enter with a small lot size if you see the upside is continuing then you can continue with the buy position and you can re-enter again that will be the best thing to do to avoid yourself a false breakout and in case the breakout fails also instead of losing a big money you will be losing a small amount of money okay so 2050 will be a very important level and during the day uh, it seems that gold will be going up to test the level of 2050 again and if we look at the market sentiment we can see dollar struggles on rate cut expectations yes dxy is under pressure again for the last few days we saw that dxy us dollar index tried to recover because it was hoping that yes okay there may be some good news for dollar but again there is pressure on dxy so if we look at the overall trend of dxy who is dominating sellers are dominating so as a result you need to plan your trades accordingly and 102.50 is a critical support for dxy not a proper support but before christmas we can expect that 102.50 will be working as support and during the day uh, not during the day but tomorrow also okay if market breaks 102.50 there will be good upside on gold euro usd gbp usd and you can go for buy position so keep your one eye on dxy right now because the next movement of dxy will be very very important and in case dxy surprises us with upside then 103.30 to 103.10 will be the resistance level and in this market condition i don't think so dxy will have the potential to break dxy is not shaktiman <laughs> probably okay not in this we don't understand the joke here okay anyways jokes apart okay so uh why 103.3010 because because we can see that previous support will be working as a resistance and then we can also see we have 50 and 100 moving averages so dynamic resistance is also there so if we combine both the factors here then we can expect that this will be a resistance and market will be struggling okay and 102.50 will be playing a critical role here gold is flat in early trade okay it's talking about today you can gold prices are flat in early asian trade after rising overnight on a weaker dollar and lower treasury yields okay <laughs> this is a joke <laughs> okay. the page vanished <laughs> okay in our previous videos we have seen how dot b can help us with our fundamental and technical analysis and lots more today in this video i'll be showing you how you can earn money with dot b the process is very very simple once you open the application okay you can choose any one of the options here let's go with ai trader on the top right corner you will see three dots 
After clicking on the three dots, you will see a referral program. Select the referral program and you will see your unique code. Now you must be thinking how you can earn money. The process is very, very simple. Your friend just need to use the code in the chat box and send it as a query and your friend will receive two USDT. And as you have shared the code, you will be receiving 0.1 USDT. And the best part is that there is no limit of sharing. So the more you share, the more you earn. And already you have guys seen how .b is very useful for traders like us in a fundamental and technical analysis. So this is the chat box and I will show you how easy it is. So I have a code J L double O R W. You just need to wait for a few seconds and you can see great you get the USDT for use code check your balance in the top menu and let's go to the top menu referral program and you can see the balance has increased so my dear friends this is the way you can earn money with the help of dot b so there is no limit of earning here same goes with your friend share the code earn money and once you'll receive 50 USDT, you can withdraw from the dot b account so during the day if gold goes up we need to be careful and if market reverses around 2049 2050 scalpers day traders you can look for a sell position how much you can expect you can expect around 30 to 40 pips and if gold breaks to 2050 i already mentioned what you need to do on the other side if we see gold coming down, then we have 2010. 2010 as the best support, or you can say that we have the best buyers, strong buyers around 2010 level. You must be thinking why? Let me show you why. Okay, here we have used Fibonacci. Okay, we have used Fibonacci. Let me remove this FIBO here. Okay, now you can see when gold made this high. Okay, try to learn here. Okay, so that you can uh, use this in your future analysis. See, when gold made this high and market fell from here, this was the level where gold took support, where FIBO 23.6% retracement level. And at one point when market broke the support here, market came down to FIBO 38.2. So market has already tested the level twice and it is a confirmation to us that the FIBO level is working here. We have buyers around the FIBO levels. So where is the next FIBO level? You can see we have the next FIBO level around 2010-2011. So during the day, I don't think so it will fall, okay, still, but during the day, if market falls, here we have good buyers and we can expect a good bounce around this area. But the problem is that the level of 2010, 2011 is far away. So as a result, okay, we have used FIBO from here. And you can see that around 2034, around 2034 we have a minor retracement level why minor retracement level let me show you because see you can already see goal is forming what goal is forming a lower high here so there is some sort of pressure on the market right now so we cannot expect a big bounce and right now the volatility is low the volume is this so as a day trader as a scalper you can look for a buy a quick bounce around 2034 and 2031 2031-2030 because of FIBO 50% retracement level we have the dynamic supports here as um, okay and 2034 you can see we have FIBO 38.2% retracement level plus the previous resistance will be working as support so during the day if the volatility of the market remains like this listen to me carefully if the volatility of the market remains like this and if you're very much interested in taking a position then obviously you can go for a buy at 2030 or 20313 so volatility of the market will be important here because the major level is 2010-2000 level or if you ask me avilash what is the range of goal right now then i'll say the range of goal is 2000 to 2050 but as the vol uh, as volume is less as the volatility of the market is low that's why we are considering 2034-203130 under normal circumstances or in normal days 343 three, uh, these levels okay are not at all significant and not at all um, reliable to go for any position Honestly speaking, I do not have any open position on gold right now and I have no plans of taking any position. I have set alert around 2012 
If market comes to 2010, I'll be going for a buy. If gold breaks 2050, I'll go with a buy of 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 just to check. Okay. So that is my plan right now. Personally, I'm not going for any position here. Uh, recently, I have been testing uh, an algo. Okay, though. So algo is taking few trades on GBP USD and it is doing pretty well. Okay, so I'm just watching the algo right now. Okay. Anyways, these are the trading opportunities that I see on the chart of coal. Be careful and follow proper risk management. Okay, don't be too excited and gamble with your hard-earned money and capital. We are traders, not gamblers. Don't forget. Bye-bye.